So let's get started. I'm just going to put a little sky back there. So here's a yellow that is almost empty and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off so that I can get the extra paint that's left in there off. And I'm going to just cut off my scissors and I'm going to cut down as far as at least halfway so I can get at my extra paint. All right. Okay, so there. Oh, there's lots of paint. In. Oh, look at all that paint. Lots of paint there too. So, so when I take all the paint out of that, get as much out as you can, and then you can lay it on your palette and just put it on your palette, right? So you don't waste any. And then what you can do to save this one here, because you may not need it right away. So to save that, so it won't dry out on you, you can put the top back on basically, okay? There we go. So you just put the top back on, and now you still have a little bit of paint left in it. Okay, so hopefully that's a cute little tip for you. Help you save some paint. So first of all, I'm going to mist. Now you can use water. Just mist your canvas. And I'm using my magic recipe and for magic mist. And I'll leave the link below to, so that you can make your own magic mist. But you can use water, it's fine. Magic Mist, what it does is it extends the drying time for you so you can blend all your sky in the background. But you don't necessarily need it for this one because we're not doing a lot of colors. We're just going to do uh, an idea of a sky. You can also, to keep your paints from drying out on your palette, you can also mist with your Magic Mist. Okay, you can mist your paints, all right? And that way you'll be able to have a little more working time with your acrylics so they won't dry so fast. So I find Magic Mist is really good for a shorter drying time, but it, it um, extends the drying time of your acrylics. And you can use the Magic White if you want to blend colors. You want to take a long, you want, you want to take up to an hour to blend colors. You might have a huge canvas, so that would work for you. So, so get it misted up. The only thing using water is that it, it'll, um, especially if you use too much, you end up, acrylics end up almost like watercolor. But experiment, see what, what you like. So I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of a blue sky on there. I'm not gonna do nothing fancy. But see, because I missed it, see that how it just flows beautifully, you know? And it, it is a little transparent because I did put a lot of mist on there. I probably shouldn't put as much. That's why you need to experiment, okay? Now to, to solve that problem, you just add some white. All right, just add some white. See how smooth that is now? All right. Now if we're doing a sky, maybe we're better off going back and forth but this is nice. I like this actually. I'm trying to show you how you can blend beautifully even just with magic mist look at that isn't that gorgeous that's coming out beautiful that's really nice because if you go up and down now when you go across you're going to get some of this white coming through almost like clouds I'm going to blend it out use your big biggest brush you can find synthetic look at that pretty See, it's, you're still able to work with it. It's still wet. I'm going to add some white. Just 
to brighten up the bottom because as the sky gets further down by the horizon it starts to lighten up. Yeah. Really nice. There we go. Good. When I use Magic Mist or Magic White or Magic Paint or anything that I, that I make up with my Magic Recipe, the Magic Recipe comes first and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can add paint to it or you can use it as it is or you can add water to it to make the mist or you can add white to it to make the Magic White. So it, start off base with your basic Magic White recipe. All right. like I said if you don't have it and you want to start this painting just go ahead what I'll do is I'll leave the recipe in the in the I'll put it in the uh, description for you put it in the description for you and I'll leave the link to where you can get your supply you know supplies um, you might have some on you you might have some home and you don't even realize it See, that's nice, isn't it? It's different. Right? Now, if you want a few little puffy clouds there, just take out a, I think a bristle brush might be nice because it might give it, it might give it a nice um, puffy cloud. I'm just going to use, I'm going to use a round brush. These round brushes are great. You should try to get some. They're over to, um, you can get them at the dollar store, but I got some in my Amazon shop. So I'll leave a link to those too, and uh, they're really good. So I'm going to add some white. I'm going to add a tiny bit of red to that white, just so that the clouds are not are not chalky. Make it pretty color. So it depends on what kind of clouds you just want to. Just make a few little circles like that. Kind of flip them out on the on the edges here, like whatever is left over on your brush. Shoop, right. Then make another little circle and then boop, just come on out, just wiggle your brush, bring out some little clouds like that, right? We don't want too many. Load up again if you need it. And your paint is still wet, the blue paint, so that's going to give you the shadows in your clouds too. So that's the beauty of all this. Is, it all works together so well. So these clouds are probably going to be covered up by the tree, but I want to have an idea of some fluffy clouds, just some faded ones back here, just whatever's left over in your brush, kind of just, you can squeeze it in there and just move it around a bit, that's all. And if you get a little top like that, leave it there, all right? Just kind of wiggle in some leftover paint on your brush. Right, just this all. You don't need to do anything too fancy. And then when that, you go back in if you want, and you can put some highlights on those clouds. Just a little bit, just a little circle from the top. See? Because the paint is wet, you're going to be very gentle. You're barely touching the canvas so that that white paint will fall off. So pick a little spot and just throw on a little bit of that white paint. What you're trying to accomplish here is to get white paint to come off your brush and put some highlights on those clouds. You just tap them on a little bit, tap it on a little bit. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. You might want to tap. Let's see, where else would you think they might need it? Maybe it's a little bit down here. So don't worry about it being like mine now. Just tap on a little bit of white paint wherever you want it on top of what you just did. All right, so just a little bit. Now you want to wait for this to dry in order to put your tree on. So because I got magic mist on there, it's going to take a little longer to dry. So what you can do is use a hair dryer. There we go. Good. Want to soften up the bottoms of these? I wouldn't really worry about it too much. You could take a little 
synthetic brush and kind of just scrub at the bottom. You don't need to touch the top. It's just to kind of gives a softer look, right? Or you can take a big fluffy brush, okay, like this, big fluffy brush and move it around on the bottoms there. You could even, it's okay to go around your your clouds, They'll, that'll fluff them up, make them nice and soft and fluffy. Try not to, you know, go up right into the white because what'll happen is you'll end up losing. Unless you touch it very gently, then you'll be able to see how it's softening up nicely. See, isn't that pretty? See how soft they are? Clouds are not that hard to make. Just have to know, I might soften it up even more there, I think. There we go. You just have to know what tools work best. You know, you can use a Q-tip, tissue paper, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of goodies. It's a bit too pink there for me. There we go, see? Isn't that nice? Is that so pretty, isn't it? Well, thank you for painting along with me. I hope you enjoyed that painting. And if you did enjoy that painting, leave a comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you liked about that painting. What part of that painting did you like? What was your favorite part? And if you have any questions about brushes or paints or anything about the painting itself, just email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com or leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.